Unemployment is remaining steady at 3.7%. I'll tell you what it means next. You're definitely gonna wanna watch this one. Last week, we had a very favorable jobs report that came out from the Bureau of Labor with the US federal government and we saw unemployment rates remaining at 3.7%, which was steady with the month of October. So as a result, what we saw over the weekend is the market started to move ahead of the Fed meeting on December 14th. Unemployment staying at 3.7% caused mortgage rates to decrease into the low 6% range at the beginning of this week because of that jobs report. So this is really exciting news because when people are remaining employed, all of a sudden, the cost of money is a little cheaper. So the market moving ahead of the Fed, to me, is even more interesting because we talked about what's going on with the upcoming Fed meeting. And there's a 76% chance, according to the CME Market Watch tool, that the Fed will raise interest rates, the Fed funding rate specifically, 50 basis points, less than what they have been doing. So it's predicted. People know what to expect and the market's moving ahead of the Fed. The Fed is the last one to the party here. So what does this mean? This means a couple things. If you're thinking about selling a home right now, I'd be looking at accelerating your time frame and getting your home on the market either now in the month of December or right after the first of the year. You wanna be the only option in town as a seller. We're still seeing low inventory rates in the one to two month range in the suburban markets, Montgomery, Chester, Delaware counties, and we've seen Philadelphia inventory creep up dramatically in the three to four month range of homes for sale. Meaning if nothing else came on the market, that's how long it would take to liquidate the existing inventory. So with rates coming down a little bit, that's an opportunity for buyers to lock in a lower monthly payment, which means they can afford more, spend more, push their price point up more, which is going to benefit sellers. What I know is that sellers who come to the market early, whether it's in December, January, or February, when a lot of people are waiting till the spring, waiting for that green grass, everything to grow in, these sellers, when they're competing with less inventory, end up getting better terms and a better price. So meet with someone to talk about the strategy around selling your home. You might need to do some stuff. You might need to get it ready for the market. That can take time. Have those meetings now so you can beat the rush of inventory that's going to be coming to the market in the spring. For buyers, don't quit. Don't give up. This is one of the best pieces of news we've had in a while that after that big rate jump up north of 7%, they've come down to six and a half. Now they're in the low sixes. This may be what you've been waiting for. Inventory's up. It's grown substantially in the 29 to 35% range since the month of May in the greater Philadelphia area. We've seen less buyer traffic in the Northeast, according to showing time, down over 10%. And now we've got rates coming down even more. Remember, it's about the payment, not the rate. So if your payment fits your budget, that means you can transact on the property. This is what you should be thinking about right now. Meet with an agent, schedule a strategy session, schedule a planning meeting because the more you know will help you navigate this day-to-day -day economic uncertainty. You're definitely gonna wanna watch this one.